Zizel. In this USG how-to video, we'll discuss managing your network's Zizel wireless access points using the new AP controller feature in our USG appliances. The latest USG appliances offer the ability to manage Zizel access points on your network, although it doesn't offer all the features of Zizel standalone NXC series controllers, it will allow easy administration of core access point functions through the use of CAPWAP protocol. To leverage this feature, you'll need to pair your USG with compatible access points. At the time of this video, APs currently supported are the Zizel NWA3000N series hybrid APs and NWA5000N series thin or unified APs. 802.11ac APs will certainly be added in future firmware updates as those access points are released to the market. For more information, consult the latest user's guide for your USG, which you can download for free at www.zizel.com. We'll begin by configuring the feature on the USG, then the access points to be managed. We'll then return to the USG to set up managed APs through the USG's web interface. Connect to the USG's LAN port and point your web browser to its management IP address. The default IP address for the USG is 192.168.1.1. If using the default self-signed certificate on your USG, your browser may present you with a security warning, but it's perfectly okay to proceed. Default username is admin, and the default password is 1234. If you're still using the default password, you'll be prompted to change it and will have to log back in using the new password. Once you've logged in, you should see the dashboard and the menu bar on the left margin. From the menu bar, go to the Configuration, Network, Interface menu. In this example setup, we'll be setting up a managed AP network on LAN 2 but we'll also use LAN 1 to help initially set up hybrid APs for management. On the Interface tab, ensure that you have at least one port assigned to LAN 1 and LAN 2. If you're connected directly to the USG for administration during this setup and need to set up any hybrid APs for management, such as Zizel NWA3000N series APs, you'll need an extra LAN 1 port to which you should connect any hybrid APs that need to be set up, either directly or through a switch network. Next, click on the Ethernet tab, then double-click the LAN2 profile, or click it, and then click the Edit button. Click on the Show Advanced Settings button at the top of the menu. In the DHCP Settings section, under Extended Options, click the Add button. In the Option drop-down menu, select CAPWAP AC138, and enter the USG's LAN2 IP address in the first IP address field. By default, this address is 192.168.2.1. Click OK to save the setting, then click OK on the Interface Properties to save all changes. For hybrid APs, such as the NWA3000N series, or unified APs, such as the NWA5121N or 5123N, you'll need to switch them to Managed mode to be managed by the USG. To do this, Assuming your USG's LAN 1 is using the default subnet settings, connect the AP to another of your USG's LAN 1 ports, either directly or through a switched network, and point your web browser to the AP's management IP address. By default, the IP address for Zizel APs is 192.168.1.2. The default username is admin, and the default password is 1234. If you're still using the default password, You'll be prompted to change it, but you can ignore this step as we'll be putting the AP into managed mode anyhow. The AP's management interface is very similar to the USG and includes a dashboard and menu bar in the left margin. Use the menu bar to navigate to the configuration management mode menu. Select the managed AP radio button and ensure it's set to auto. The AP will use option 138 information you configured on the USG's LAN 2 interface. Click apply and then confirm your choice by clicking the Yes button. The AP will then reboot into Managed Mode. Once your hybrid AP is set in Managed Mode, or you're using a Zizel Thin AP, you'll need to connect the AP to one of the USG's LAN 2 ports, either directly or through a switch network. Once connected, the AP will receive a DHCP address from the USG's LAN 2 interface, along with the Option 138 info directing the AP to be managed by the USG. 
The managed AP will connect to the AP controller in the USG and receive a firmware upgrade. This may take up to 5 minutes and during this time, you will see the AP reboot. Do not interrupt this procedure by powering off the AP. After it has rebooted, the AP will reconnect to the USG and will be ready to receive periodic configuration updates. If the managed AP never connects, make sure your option 138 settings on the LAN2 interface are set to the correct IP address. Before you can manage an access point, you'll need to make an object to apply to it. To start, go to the Configuration, Object, AP Profile menu. Begin by clicking on the SSID tab, and then the Security List sub-tab. Click the Add button to create a new security profile, assigning a profile name, and selecting a security mode and authentication setting. For example, we can use a WPA2 security mode and select a PSK as the authentication setting, and then enter a pre-shared key in the corresponding field. Click OK to save your new profile. Next, go back onto the SSID list tab and add a new SSID. Enter a profile name, decide the SSID you want the wireless users to see, and then select the security profile that we created in the previous step from the corresponding drop-down menu. You may also decide what other advanced options you'd like to use, like using a hidden SSID. Note that you can also use different VLAN tags for different SSIDs. However, this is beyond the scope of this video, but you can learn more in your USG's user's guide. Just remember to click OK to save your new SSID when finished. Click back to the radio tab and add a new radio profile. If you plan to use the profile immediately, ensure the active box is checked. Enter a profile name and select the 802.11 band you wish to use for the profile. Then select the mode you wish to use for the profile. Note that 802.11n can use either 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz band profiles depending on the capabilities of the access point. However, 802.11ac can only use the 5 GHz profiles. Next, select the channel profile the AP will use. For proper cell planning, you may need to make multiple profiles for the SSIDs, but using different channels to avoid inter-AP interference based on the AP's locations. Finally, in the MB SSID settings section, select the SSIDs you wish to use. Note that each radio can support up to 8 SSIDs, typically with differing VLANs and security settings per SSID. Note that if you want to disable a radio, simply create a radio profile that has all the SSIDs set to disable. This can be especially handy when configuring the default and default 2 radio profiles, as it is these profiles that are automatically assigned to newly connected managed APs. Such a setting would disable the AP until the appropriate radio profile was assigned by the administrator. With your radio profiles created, you can now apply them to your managed access points. Go to the Configuration, Wireless, AP Management menu. Double-click on the AP you wish to manage, or click on the AP and then click on the Edit button. Zizel APs support either one or two radios, and each radio can support a single radio profile as configured in the previous steps. By default, each USG can manage only two APs. This capacity can be upgraded through licensing, although each USG will only be able to support a maximum number of APs based on the specific model. Refer to your USG's user's guide or your Zizel sales representative for more information. For more information on registering your USG and applying upgrade licenses, see our other USG how-to video, License Registration. For more USG how-to videos, see our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com forward slash ZizelUSA.